That was breathing. like being in the movie A Beautiful Mind. <laughs> Thank you. I can you see, see chalk chalkboards chalkboard. with, I can see the lines being dry. I mean, wow. That was prolific, oh. man. First question, you know, we got to, this is, a, we're going to get the real official collab going here. <laughs> Uh, so the first question, I'm going to ask uh, Hall of Famer Marshall Falk to come out and ask, ask this first question. My question has to do with, um, I, and, and I think it's the, the most important thing that we have in this world. Um, it's our time. Uh, Dave, you do a lot. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm serious. Yeah. Um, you're on every platform. Um, I think I saw you on the Animal Channel. <laughs> 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 you're, you're everywhere, but not only are you everywhere, you're the best husband, you're the best dad, you're the best friend, you're the best coach, but somehow you find a way to fit everything in. Now, you can go to an unsuccessful person and, and ask them to do something and they don't have time, but you could ask Dave and he'll find the time. I, and what I want to know, and I, I, I think there's, there's a secret to it, because the most valuable thing that I have is my time. I value it, and I value other people's time. And I just wonder, how, how do you make it all work, the importance of time and time management? Well, that definitely is a setup because time is my love language, man. It is absolutely, it's missing from that book. Um, first, I think it's important to realize that everyone has 24 hours. It, it is the common denominator of all matter subjective and objective matter. Everybody has 24 hours. The time that a particle of light leaves the sun and hits the earth is for everybody here on earth. The perspective I take with time is that I'm guaranteed 24 hours every day of my life except for the last day. I know I'm gonna be cheated, you're gonna be cheated, he's gonna be cheated. Doesn't matter if you're a Hall of Famer or I played tailback, tailback in college. When I got off the bench, they said, Get your tailback on the bench. You're way too slow and small. Uh, he was an actual tailback. See, I can be funny, man. Uh, anyway, I'm on the wrong stage. But 24 hours a day. So I utilize physics to figure out how to utilize time. And there's three characteristics of time, just like money or any other energy in the, in the universe. Uh, time aggregates. It collects on itself. Energy aggregates on itself. It accelerates and it compounds exponentially its outcomes. And I know you and I have a financial business together and the rule of 72 is one of the basis of our financial literacy of learning how money and energy compounds, so does time. So what I do is I make a commitment against human nature and against intuition to be committed every day to do what's most important to me. And so I call it non-negotiable time. The first thing that most people don't realize is the biggest benefit of time is sleep. And I'd have been the last person 10 years ago to tell you, oh yeah, I, I was one of those guys, enough time to sleep when I'm dead. I use a minimum of seven hours a day to sleep, to recover and access information, to utilize in a divine direction and divine time of where I wanna be. Two, non-negotiable, about three hours of the things that are most important to me. Number one, health. That was because of my wife, who when I finally made back all that I lost, said, hey, I told her, I'll buy you anything. What can I do for you? You stuck with me. You're my inspiration, my muse. What can I do? She said, take care of yourself. If you don't take care of yourself, you're not going to take care of anybody else. And if you're healthy, you get as many wishes a day as you want. If you're unhealthy, you only get one wish. Then I go to my family. This one screws people up because I spend a minimum amount of time, minimum, I'm going to repeat because people shit on me on IG, 30 minutes minimum with my wife every day, 30 minutes minimum with my 14-year-old son, two minutes minimum with my three daughters who are 25, that's where I get 23 and, and 20, but two minutes a day is worth two hours on a Saturday. And now here's probably the best piece of advice I can give everybody here. I spend a minimum of one minute a day with my mom. A minimum. I try to spend more, but I spend a minimum. And I only tell her four things every day. One, I'm happy. Two, I'm healthy. Three, I appreciate her. And four, I love her. I spent years driving back and forth to San Diego, fixing screen doors, doing all kinds of wasting of time 
to prove to my mom I'm happy, I'm healthy, and I love and appreciate her. It's much easier just to tell her every day, and it puts her at ease. And I know it puts you two guys at ease, too, because you know whether you're a parent or not, that's all a parent wants to know about their child. So I have non-negotiables, family, finance, faith, all of those things every day. Now, here's the interesting thing. 90% of your success will come from what you're committed to do every day, the non-negotiables, but it's impossible to do them. I teach people to say thank you. I make millions of dollars with some of my coaching clients saying, thank you so much, you changed my life. I say thank you before I go to bed and when I wake up. It's hard because the simple things to do are simple not to do. It took me nine months myself to say thank you for 30 straight days. That's how counter human nature being consistent is. But what's interesting that I found is it's impossibly committed to do things every single day unless you have variant behavior in the other 14 hours. Only 10% of my success comes from the variant behavior that's determined by the external circumstances of the day. My day changed when COVID hit. My day changes if in-laws come over, or flat tire, or I have a difficulty at home. My day changes, but it only changes the variant behavior. It never changes what I'm committed to do non-negotiable. It doesn't change my sleep, it doesn't change my health, it doesn't change my family, it doesn't change my finances, and it doesn't change my faith. And I'm getting an aggregation and acceleration and a compounding of outcomes simply from seven hours of sleep and three hours of non-negotiable time and making sure that I'm utilizing the variance of time, the variables of life, as long as they're aligned with three things. The circumstances of the day, the meaning of the past, which is the lessons of the past, and the most important, my self-image for my future. We were talking about I am, you are an incredible introspective, intelligent human being I learned so much from, but the one thing I admire most is that you grew up in Louisiana, which I've spent time in, in a really difficult situation, but even at a young age, your mom instilled in you, and I remember your Heisman Trophy story, because that one hit me at home, I got choked up, I'm like, this boy, he has a high self-image, even though he deserved, by the way, to win the Heisman Trophy, and he didn't, his self-image carried him to be the MVP of the Super Bowl, a Hall of Famer, because you will never overachieve your own self-image. And so that's infinite. Your future is infinite, your past is infinite. Give it the meaning of the past that's aligned with the divine direction in the divine time to get to a self-image that you believe in yourself, not what other people think what's missing and what you don't have. And then utilize the non-negotiable time to get the advantage of physics and the variant not negotiable time to allow yourself to enjoy the consistent, persistent pursuit of the non-negotiable stuff. Anybody wants anything on that, I'm happy to send you my exercises and guys for free. I know that was a- That was like being in the movie, A Beautiful Mind. <laughs> Thank you. I can see, see chalkboards chalk with, I can see the lines being dry. I mean, wow. That was prolific, oh. man. And wow. I mean, come on. That was, that was awesome. Thanks, Dave. <laughs>